Hey guys, it's G. I'm about to watch Arrow episode 4, 17, called Beacon of Hope. No, is it? What episode is it? And the promo for this episode, that was one of the best promos I personally have ever seen for Arrow. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. So I'll talk to you in the comments afterwards, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Makes me happy. Just because you can't see me doesn't mean I'm not there. You gotta sense my presence even when I'm not in your eye. Line. What advice would you give to me? You and me. Are you mm. tired? You're dropping your shoulder and you're opening yourself up. <laughs> Dude. So you took your morning run from six miles to what? Maybe two? Oh, yeah, well, taking care of a toddler is a marathon in itself. You can't let him work for the wife of the Prince of Darkness. And what if you got a better offer? Are you going to run for mayor? Palmer Tech. They're hiring a new head of public relations. Oh. I just heard that from someone. Laurel, she's not Voldemort. And I'm fine. That's a good idea. You should tell Alex to talk to Felicity. Mm-hmm. What? Nothing. It's just... What is shocking that you know who Voldemort is. Well, I mean, I'm not immune to pop culture. I read a few of the Harry Potter books. Really? Mm -hmm. I was going to bet Thea that you just saw the movies. There were movies? No, honey. It's too cute. <laughs> Too cute. I can feel it. The powers it bestowed are on the way, but. Enough! Stupid woman! Who can I help you with, Mom? Well, my beautiful baby girl, I am here to rescue you. After the. B R E A C K U P. You could use some regular socialization, so. How about a leisurely lunch? Oh my god, I don't know what's worse the fact that you just spelled out breakup or that you misspelled it. Hmm? Yeah. Hive is moving forward with Genesis, but not with you. They like you here, out of trouble. But they do wish you the best of luck with your trial. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. Performance issues are common for men of your age. That is so wrong. You have 104 fever. Where do you think you're going? To get help. I'm pretty sure the police already know about this. I'm not talking about the police. Curtis. I love Curtis. Hello? <coughs> Anybody here? <coughs> yes, we are here, Curtis, and we just can't wait to hear how you use the cell phone that we gave you to help us rescue Dr. Palmer to track us back to our secret lair. Secret lair. Okay, so we don't need to take out the bees. This is badass. I love this kind of much sense if we can't thing. <laughs> Holy frack. <laughs> you're the... And wait, you're... Wait, 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 you're... you're... Uh, just so you guys know, if, if I pass out, it's to be... Because I'm sick, not because... You know. So, can anybody just walk in here? Apparently. Shouldn't have put your shoes back on, hon. Curtis? Curtis? Oh, this is so weird. I, I literally just had a dream where you were the green arrow. Wait, this is happening? You're the green arrow? Yeah, I could have sworn it was Neil Adams data processing. And this is the arrow cave. Oh my gosh, let me call it the bunk. It's the bunker, but yeah. You and Laura Lance, the ADA. I, I, I've seen you on TV before. And you're Captain Lance. Hmm. And you're... Who are you? Sorry, I know I met before, but I can't really place your name right now. Curtis, that's John Diggle. I need you to focus for a second, please. What are you doing here? I saw the beehive on the news. Felicity's in there. Yeah, we were just about to mount a rescue mission. Do you guys even know what that is? That is an army of robotic bees. Yeah, that's my life now. Curtis, can you immobilize enough bees to give us a way in? There's only one way to find out. Do 
it. You want me on the team? Hmm? I mean, you want me on the team. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> Echo Callum, I love him. He's perfect. <laughs> Don't care. How many are there? Just trying to think happy thoughts. Okay. <laughs> Floor sign. A mop. What? Shirtless again for the wrong reasons. Still shirtless, so he didn't just whatever. Get stung. The bees inside. Well, cut it out. Do you guys have anesthesia around here? Let's just do it. I can't find it. Oliver. Okay, actually, and this is hard to believe. We have a bigger problem. The bee is replicating itself inside Oliver. Oh, that is not good. Cannot turn yourself in. No, she'd kill everyone anyway. <laughs> think she's in your office you're gonna have to sanitize her yes <laughs> she's in my office which is a yes gross but b means she's not with the board you know, members she brought up oliver honey have you spoken to him since mom, mom, mom i'm thinking i'm sorry you know what honey i'm curious okay i, I have an idea <laughs> oh the problem is that we need to generate a high enough frequency to damage the network but unless you guys have a canary a, cry to protect the handy then Just give them the full Mariah Carey, and it should disrupt whatever connection the bees operating on. All right, then. You sure about this? Uh, time to be sure. Curtis, do it. Three, two, one. has that 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 is possibly the first time I have ever been impressed by the damned canary cry imagine what I will become when dozens of lives are sacrificed in my name you'll become a monster no, he already is a god let me show you trying to escape the hive Please, please don't tell me again that Felicity is a whiny, helpless damsel in distress. Goddamn hero in her own right. Man. The next time they adapt, I can upload a virus that will disperse into the entire hive. Like what they did in Independence Day, right? What, I can't watch movies too? So what's the plan? Looks like your green friend didn't forget about you. Of course not. Never will. <laughs> gotcha. What? 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 Look at him go. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone you screamed. Thank you. You never, never have to thank me. Lay down, 
always welcome here, Curtis. Just keep the property damage to a minimum next time. Okay. What's the exit? Uh, right there. Oh, oh, yeah. Our mutual friends in Hive have abandoned our other mutual friend, Mr. Dark. But he reached out to me, told me about you. He said you were his ace in the hole. <laughs> He has an ace in the hole. Call you, or do you prefer Mr. Diggle? Andy, for fuck's sake, Andy! What? That was episode four seventeen, and I really enjoyed it. It had some really good moments. It had some funny moments. Still don't care about the flashbacks. I swear to God. <laughs> I really. Really, 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 really want the Bratva, the Russia flashbacks. That is what I'm looking forward to, and I'm really hoping that they do that next season because I love Oliver as a Bratva captain. So, yeah, that is something I'm really looking forward to, and until that happens, the flashbacks are going to disappoint. And they really disappoint this season. Like, really disappoint. And I swear to God, shows do this with breaks and everything because the next episode isn't until april 20th i think that is three weeks from now guys and that is i think that's the spoiler alert i think that's the death episode something someone's gonna die or someone is gonna get so hurt that they're eventually gonna die it's see yeah it's happening there's a part of me that is trusting my gut and my gut has been basically saying since the beginning of this season that as soon as I saw the flash, flash forward, yeah, it's, 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 chances are it's going to be Laurel. Yeah, it's no secret that I love Felicity. I love Oliver and Felicity together. I even love them apart because they're, they're, they're such amazing characters, even when they're not together. Felicity, and this is what really irked me about what people were saying about season three, and a version of Felicity in season three. That she was whiny and she was weak and she was uh, and she was always crying and whatever. And I'm like, really? That's what you got? I also personally, I was a big fan. I was a big fan of season three. And that's just my opinion. Other people hated it. Other people didn't get the writing and whatever. But overall, it was a good season. It had a lot of angst, and I, I kind of like the angst. I, I, I don't object to it, let's put it that way, at least when I know that it's going to work out eventually. That's all I'm going to say about Elicity. Anyway, that was it. That was episode 417, which I fully enjoyed. Really enjoyed. It was a funny episode, and I like funny when it's done right. And it was done right. It wasn't corny in any way. It was just funny. But yeah... I'll see you in a couple in a couple of weeks, April 21st probably, when I'm going to post my reaction. So, three weeks, guys. Three weeks, no episodes. I hate breaks. I really, really, really hate breaks. Anyway, I will talk to you in the comments, and yeah, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye-bye.